When suing a municipality in the state of New York, do you know why it is critical to know what a notice of claim is and why you have to fill it out? Come join me as I share with you this great information. Hi, I'm Jerry Oginski. I'm a New York medical malpractice and personal injury trial lawyer practicing law here in the state of New York. So anytime you plan on bringing a lawsuit against a municipality, you must and are required to fill out what's known as a notice of claim. Now what is that? It's really a piece of paper that puts the municipality on notice that you intend on bringing a lawsuit against them. It gives them an opportunity to begin a small investigation to determine whether or not your case might have merit. Now, there are specific requirements that go into a notice of claim, and if you don't do things specifically the way the law requires you, your notice of claim will be thrown out or dismissed when you bring a lawsuit, and that means you won't be able to bring a case. And now, you don't want to start out having those legal problems. So basically, a notice of claim requires that you put in a number of things, including the date and time when the incident occurred. They want to know exactly where the incident occurred. Importantly, they want to know how the incident occurred. And then they want to know what injuries you suffered as a result of whatever it is that the municipality did improperly. And that is critical. And then it must be signed and notarized in order for you to then submit the claim to the correct authority. There are different types of municipalities in within New York State. It could be a county, it could be a municipal town, it could be the city of New York. There are many different municipalities within the state of New York and it has to be done correctly because if you serve that document on the wrong place or the wrong entity, your case is finished because you will not have given that municipality the correct notice to begin to investigate to see whether or not you might have a valid case. Now, I will tell you that there is a specific requirement. It's known as a prerequisite. In these municipal cases, we are required to file this notice of claim first, give the municipality an attempt to investigate, and then after a certain period of time has elapsed, only then are we permitted to file a lawsuit on your behalf. So why do I share this great information with you? I share it with you to give you an insight and an understanding to what goes on in these accident cases and these medical malpractice cases here in the state of New York when you're considering filing a lawsuit against either a municipal owned hospital or a municipality. You know, I realize you have questions or concerns about your own particular matter. Well, if your matter happened here in New York and you do have legal questions, what I encourage you to do is pick up the phone and call me. You know, I'd love to talk to you and I'd be happy to answer your legal questions. You can reach me at 516 487 8207 or by email at jerry, G-E-R-R-Y, at oginski-law.com. That's it for today's quick video. I'm Jerry Oginski. Have a wonderful day.